In this video, we're going to look at how we can convert a fraction to a decimal. The easy way to do this is to remember the fraction bar implies an operation, division. So in order to convert a fraction to a decimal, we will simply divide the numbers, making sure the bottom number is our divisor out front of our long division. In some cases, though, the decimal will repeat, and that's going to be okay. In this case, what we will do is we will use a bar over the repeating part of the decimal. So let's try and change some fractions into decimals, starting with the fraction 7 eighths. As we set up our long division, the bottom number must always go out front the divisor, and the 7 goes inside. Well, we can't divide 8 into 7, so we'll add a 0 as we do. It's after the decimal point. 8 goes into 78 times because 8 times 8 is 64. When we subtract, we get 6. Let's bring down another digit with decimals. There's always zeros to bring down. 8 goes into 60 7 times because 7 times 8 is 56, and when we subtract, we get 4. Put another 0 on there and bring it down. 8 goes into 40 5 times, because 5 times 8 is 40, and when we subtract, we finally get 0. Again, because we lined everything up, the decimal can come straight up into our answer, and we have 0 0.875, or 875 thousandths, is the decimal that's equivalent to 7 eighths. Let's do another one. Let's flip the fraction over, and we're going to convert 8 sevenths into a decimal. Now the bottom number is the 7. That's what's going out front. The denominator is the divisor. Make sure the bottom number comes out front, 8 inside. This time, we can actually start dividing. 7 does go into 8 once. 1 times 8 is... 1 times 7 is 7. Subtracting, and we get a 1. After the decimal, we always have zeros to bring down. 7 goes into 10 once, because 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract, and we get 3. Add another 0, bring it down. 7 goes into 30 4 times, because 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract, and we get 2. Add another 0, bring it down. 7 goes into 20. We're going to need to extend our division bar twice, because 7 times 2 is 14. Subtract, and we get 6. Add another 0, bring it down. 7 goes into 60 8 times, because 7 times 8 is 56. Subtract, and we get 4. Add another 0, you never run out of zeros. 7 goes into 4 5 times, or 7 goes into 45 times, because 7 times 5 is 35. Comes out to a 5. Add another 0, bring it down. We have to be getting close, because I'm running out of space. 7 goes into 50 7 times, because 7 times 7 is 49. Subtract, and we get 1. Add another 0, bring it down, and we get 7 goes into 10 once. But hold on a second. We have divided 7 into 10 before. 7 went into 10 all the way up here before. We're going to start to get a repeat. 7's going to go into 10, then 30, then 20, then 60, then 40, then 50, and then we hit 10 again. So we'll do 30, 20, 60, 40, 50, and 10 again, and we'll start to be in this repeating loop here. Once we see that repeating loop, we'll back up to the first 10. It went in there once, and we're going to put a bar over that repetition. That bar says the 142857 is going to repeat over and over again. Bringing the decimal up, then, we get our answer with the bar is 1.142857. 142857, 142857, 142857, 142857, and that's going to continue to repeat. The bar over the repetition tells us it's repeating.